and stuff, and it just hurt my stomach, and it didn't feel good, and, and it just didn't have the same effect. And for some people, it's fine. Some people like the other type better. I think more power to you. You should stock it all. Because from what I've read, it may last longer than ours. The issue here is that this stuff is bioavailable right out of the blood, from what I've been told. Just find out for yourself, regardless you're supporting the broadcast, 888-253-3139 to call an order. 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. I want to thank you all for your support. And lastly, don't forget this hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Non-GMO, super high quality, amazing customer service, widest selection, who I choose to uh, use for myself and my family. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Or you can simply call the toll-free number that's on that sub area of the website. They have the specials right there. And you can also find a lot of other preparedness items at mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. Now, shifting gears to the report that just went live at Infowars.com that I saw on Drudge this morning that made me angry. If the globalists can set the precedent to nerve gas our troops and even kill them in secret test like Shad and inject black people with syphilis and let them spread it for 50 years and die of it, Total torture, microscopic worms that eat your brain. If they can just just constantly do all this and burn down Waco and under U.S. Code Title 50, Chapter 32, Subsection 1528, Paragraph B, say that secret testing is illegal unless it's for law enforcement or, or research purposes, then it can be lethal. They have it on the books. They can kill us. Well, I say your law is a stinking fraud. But this is the technocratic, mad scientist, Dylan of Otter Maru meets Joseph Mingala, angel of death mindset that is about kill babies up to age three, kill the old death panels, don't give the soldiers health care, much worse under Obama. It's a plan. It's a plan. And David Knight's got details of the report. We're working on getting the lady on. We've been working on it a few days, but now it's broken and gotten big. Uh, David Knight, tell us about this latest horror as we're totally dehumanized and as the government sets the precedent to kill us or, or bring us close to death and do illegal testing whenever they feel like it. Just like they've got caught uh, doing secret lethal testing in New York State on foster kids, New York Daily News, until the kids die feeding little black kids pesticides. Al Sharpton said nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, Alex. This is a story that's being broken by Cheryl Atkinson. And if you remember, just before I started InfoWars, there was a story that InfoWars broke about experiments that were going on by the government at the University well, of North it. Carolina. Well, you broke it. You broke it because you worked with the group. Yeah. Right, right. At the University of North Carolina, uh, at their hospital. Now, this is at the University of Alabama, at their hospital. And the parallel in both of these cases is that they're experimenting on people. There is no informed consent in either of these cases, of course, and you cannot, even with informed consent, do things to people that would threaten their life. Now, in the case of uh, North Carolina, they were taking diesel exhaust and feeding that directly into a mask with people who were sitting in an enclosed room, and they had searched for people who had respiratory and heart illnesses because they were trying to bump up. This is under Lisa Jackson. As to then cook the on, books. To, uh, exactly. To then as, cook the books, and, and wasn't it hundreds of times the safe level? Yes, yes, it was. It was. It was like uh, seventy to hundred, between seventy to a hundred times what they said was lethal. And she had gone and uh, into in congressional testimony. Lisa Jackson said, "There's more people dying from fine particulate matter than there are from cancer because what they were trying to do was to increase their bureaucracy. They were trying to increase the regulation. They're trying to shut down traditional power sources. But in this case, you have to understand. Uh, have to wonder." What in the world is their agenda? And let me read from this uh, report from Cheryl Atkinson because what she points out, this is going back to 2006, a family with a child born at 24 weeks into the pregnancy. It's only one pound, 11 ounces. They say he lays motionless in the incubator and he's in the neonatal intensive care unit. And so these people from the government from a, a National Institute of Health funded study come to them and she says, I remember them telling me that they were a support group who would be pretty much hold my hand through the development process. Now, you talk about a cynical These are life. literal treacherous devil, devil uh, demons yes. uh, literally preying on someone, lying and saying we're going to help your baby while they prepare to suffocate them. Yes. Now, now, where does this support group come from? Well, you know, they could say, well, no, we told her that we were part of a study called SUPPORT. And this is an acronym, and they choose these acronyms very carefully. It actually stands for Surficant Positive Airway Pressure and Pulse Oximetry Randomized Trial. 
But they can come in and say, we're part of a support group. Now, what they're actually doing is they're randomly manipulating oxygen. And by the way, it's okay because it's a fancy acronym, support. It's okay to turn the oxygen off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they presented <laughs> themselves, this lady understood them presenting themselves as a support group. In no way did they ever tell the, these parents that they were going to randomly adjust the oxygen to this little premature baby who's struggling with so many health problems you don't have to be a, a doctor or a rocket scientist to know that if you deprive anyone, especially a premature baby, of oxygen, that's going to cause... That's right. Pain. And in the study, for those that don't know, it's, it's with thousands of babies I was reading all over the country, uh, that they would sit there and literally test what would happen when they started turning it off. I, I mean, this is un believable folks and this is their attitude that we're animals and they're doing this to us we're going to come back i want you to read through the report and tell them exactly what they were doing straight ahead this is who run things but as long as you go it's liberal david we need to stop being racist oh, yeah. criticizing government's racist we need to take the black children and give them pesticides so they die or salon will write a mean article about us now we're racist this hour of GCN programming proudly sponsored by BlockItPocket.com. You're aware of cell phone and wireless health and privacy concerns, right? BlockItPocket.com is the source for all your wireless health and privacy answers. BlockItPocket.com. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. Are you happy doing your laundry with perfume detergents that irritate your skin? Are you happy washing your hands with stinking fragrances that gives your skin rashes? Are you happy paying new higher prices for smaller boxes? Find your happiness today with our one to four year supply of pure soaps or our one to two month sampler with bar soap, shampoo, laundry and dish soap at fivestarsoap.com. You deserve the best. Happiness is fivestarsoap.com. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your wooden door frames are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the door sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with a door sentinel. Protect your home now at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com for a special limited time offer. The door sentinel, your home's first line of defense. Oh, hi, your baby. Premature. We're here from the federal government. We've got a group called Support. We're here to support you. When you're out of the room and stuff, we turn the oxygen down to watch your baby struggle, see what happens. And and, of course, you'll find out that I bet money that some of the kids didn't make it. But who knows? And that ropes the, you know, the whole hospital into getting used to the secret testing and the bioethics boards and the attitude, oh, don't, don't help that kid. It's premature. This is the new culture coming into medicine. 
that we've been warning you about. And we could hire more people if we weren't taking care of these lazy vets. All the whistleblowers are you know, coming out saying, we ought to take these vets out and shoot them. All our money goes to them. And, and again, used to it was troops, poor Appalachians people, folks in the Appalachians, the Appalachians, and black people. I got to say, Hispanics, uh, Mexicans in the Southwest, because I've read the studies and looked it up, they run from run from the, quote, free health care and the government vans. That's why they have promos in Austin telling the Hispanic immigrant population, trust us, get in the system, come, come. And they're like, no, we don't think so. Uh, but uh, down in Mexico, too, they're running from the Gardasil shots. They're not stupid. But white people and blacks love it. And I mean, they love it. And the Appalachians, they come grab them, even though they don't trust the government. So this is who they've been targeting. But now it's expanded just to anybody, premature baby. Well, when you're not looking, we're going to turn the oxygen off. How's that sound? David Knight, go over the report itself and, and tell us why you're hateful and don't want to support people. I, I, I wonder if I come up the street with a bag and say, I'd like to put this over your head so you can't breathe. It's for support. We ought to yeah. go out and do a promo like that and just say, can I put this bag over your head and start asphyxiating you? I mean, it's good for babies. I mean, the feds are doing it. You're not a terrorist, are you? Go ahead, David. It's essentially what uh, the Nazis were accused of doing. Right? Don't be just racist. Trying, just trying to. We'd like to know exactly what the sweet spot is for the appropriate amount of oxygen for these kids. That's what the National Institute of Health study was ostensibly for. They said that. The medical personnel routinely give supplemental oxygen to babies born with immature lungs. Too much oxygen can cause severe eye damage, including a blood vessel disease and blindness called retinopathy. Too little oxygen may lead to brain damage and death. Of course, we know that. So that's why the NIH funded this study. But of course, unless you're Joseph Mengele, you know, you're not allowed to do experiments on people without their consent. Plus, you're not allowed to plus do anything to people I've already dealt with them. people. I've already dealt with family in this. They already know the sweet spot for oxygen. Right. It's, it's a little bit higher than they're supposed to normally get, and they balance it. If the baby's going to die without oxygen, you give it as much as you need to, and if it has eye problems, that's better than being brain damaged. They already have it all figured out. The NIH is just running around playing God, breaking the law to set the precedent. Sorry, go ahead. That's right. Now, you, you said we're going to find out some of these children died. Yes, one of them did. And her story, she's talking about three different families. And two of those families, the children are now seven years old, and they both struggled, they said, with myriad health problems one of those children died a third child died within three weeks so that's the thing and, and what really strikes me alex is is not just that they would do this type of thing because we've seen this as we reported on it's happened over and over again but just this kind of manipulative machiavellian way they come in and, and say we're support they they force this into an acronym that they can come in and use and make these parents think that they're a support group, that these children are going to get all the normal health care. Well, it's like Patriot would. Act or Homeland yes, exactly. Security or New Freedom Initiative or Affordable Care Act that doubles and triples your prices. Precisely. I mean, it's all a big sick joke on us by these freaks. And that's the realization you got to come to, folks. I've only just now come to it after almost 20 years on air. The globalists really enjoy hurting people. I mean, those of us that aren't evil, we just don't get it. David Knight's coming up. I'm going to do five more minutes with him. We're going to hand the baton to Paul Watson and he, while I spend some good time with my children. Uh, but wild horses can't drag me away, so I'm still here. Folks, please spread the word about the broadcast. We have decoded the enemy operation. This show does have the pulse of what's happening worldwide. We need to reach more people. Tell 10 people a day about InfoWars.com and the free audio and video feeds and your local AM and FM affiliates. It's vital. Stay with us. Hour 2 Thank and 3, jam-packed. More on the secret experimentation. Tell people about the show now. Your email list. Don't wait. Take action. We need your help. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality, delivers 10 key herbs 
package that works synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say, is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. 